So one thing you guys may have noticed recently on my YouTube channel is I don't really swear a lot. In fact, the only reason you may have noticed this lately is in some of my videos I have been letting my language slip and saying some bad words. A few of you guys have messaged me about this or jokingly said stuff on my YouTube channel in comments like rip in peace my virgin ears, sending me messages saying how weird it is for you to hear me swear since I almost never do. I think it's an interesting point to bring up because for about the first two years of me doing YouTube, I have been intentionally not cursing in videos. Now this isn't because I'm some sort of pure and innocent child, I swear like a sailor on my stream, any of you guys who come watch me know. It's also not because I think bad words are inherently evil and that you go to hell if you don't watch what you say or anything like that. Not to mention the fact that I am American too, you know, the First Amendment of our Constitution and the Bill of Rights protects freedom of speech and I believe in a free and open place like the internet, hell yeah, you should be able to say whatever you want and I haven't felt restricted restricted, like I'd be directly punished if I said something that somebody else didn't like. But something I've learned growing into the awkward young adult that I am today is there's a very clear difference in freedom of speech and freedom from speech. Here's an example of what I mean by that. About eight months ago, the CEO of T-Mobile, John Ledger, who's known for being a bit of a loose cannon, told the media at one of his company's press events that AT&T and Verizon are fuckers that are raping the American consumer. Now, he's been known to be a bit of a loose cannon, as I said, and everyone expects some F-bombs from his speeches, but some people got a bit offended by him using the word rape and comparing rape to the tight grip that Verizon and AT&T have on the telecommunications industry in America. A lot of people loved him for being so blunt and pushing a very important issue in people's faces, but at the same time, some news media sites used the opportunity to have feminist guests on their show and talk about him using the word rape, focusing solely on that instead of the message he was trying to convey. Now, whether you personally love him for getting in people's faces using blunt language like this or think he went too far is subjective, but regardless of your own opinion, this is a good example of the power that the language we use has. Has. Every word, whether it has a controversial connotation to it or not, has power, and while you have the freedom to say what you want, that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences if you don't watch what you say or how you say it. Which gets back to the topic of today. If you're wondering why I rarely use bad language on my channel, it's mostly for that reason. If I want to have a professional air in a video and a clear, concise message behind it, I don't want to risk losing the attention of occasional viewers because of the language I use. I don't want someone's focus to be lost on anything other than my message. This, of course, has the added benefit of making it so much more impactful when I do use bad language and say something like, I fucking hate Comcast, or something along those lines. As my channel goes in a bit of a new direction, I've been trying to let myself go a bit more and show more character in my videos, not just having the tight-ass professional air I've kept in my how to get better at league phase. And because I'm not only trying to be a teacher in a classroom anymore, I'm okay with my language no longer imitating that. But the point is, the language that you use and how you use it is really one of the most powerful things that everybody has at their disposal. And today I wanted to remind you guys of that shit because in League, holy moly, are there some negative people out there. You guys don't really know how much your language affects your teammates, I don't think. I've been climbing back up to Diamond again. We just hit Diamond 5 a day or two ago on stream, and this climb has been so rough. One of the things I do when I'm climbing in League is just try to play the game, turn off my all chat, and ignore any flamers on my team. It's the easiest way to prevent yourself from getting tilted and just letting your play speak for itself. So typically I ignore chat. But last stream, there were like three games where we were even winning or maybe a few kills behind. And after going two for one in a team fight in the mid to late game, people on our team would just be like, yeah, that's GG, isn't it? And then try to surrender. I would be genuinely shocked that they thought the game was over. But I guess while I was just ignoring them and doing my own thing top lane, they were convincing my team that the game was over, trying to surrender. Sometimes indirectly, but sometimes on purpose, so they could try and just get out of the game, make everyone quit. We were able to pull out most of those games, if memory serves, and get the win by holding out, but there was one game in particular I got so discouraged, along with the rest of my team, and we ended up surrendering. One guy just kept on getting us to quit. Every every chance he got, he would try to pull up the surrender vote, and I ended up saying, fine, you want to lose so badly? There, we lose. Don't forget how powerful your attitude is in-game, guys. You can convince people to not 
not surrender and bring back lost games with a charismatic tone, or you can throw away free wins if you're just all salty and negative about some dumb shit. A good rule of thumb I typically judge people on is never focus on trying to surrender more so than trying to play the game. So many people get it in their mind that a game is over and then bam, it's all downhill from there. They can't think of anything else other than trying to quit, even if you're actually winning the game up until that point. Don't let those negative Nancys get to you and do your best to have the opposite effect every game you can. Anyway though guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, I'll see you next time, but until then, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.